Uh, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Uh, this video explains that how to create a purchase order in the QuickBook. Uh, here we can create a purchase order in the QuickBook from two different places. Uh, first, from the home page itself under the vendor panel, you can click on the purchase order and easily you can create your purchase order from here. And the second place is the vendor menu come down, you can find out you can find out create purchase order. So these are the two different places that you can create your purchase order and purchase something from your supplier, right? So usually I am using the vendor section and the creating purchase order in order to create my purchase order from the supplier. Click on the purchase order. This is the format of the purchase order. So you need to fill up this one in order to request the supplier to supply something. Number one is the vendor. Vendor here means you have to select the name of the vendor from whom you want to purchase or to whom you want to issue a purchase order. Let us say for example this is the list of your vendor and this time let us say I'm purchasing from Sadaf, right? So name of the supplier is selected from here. Second one is drop drop ship to drop ship to means here we use this option only if you purchase something for example let us say from sadaf and that is purchased for a particular customer so it means you're not bringing the good to the business you directly want to send it to the place of the customer if that is so so you can select the name of the customer or the name of the job and so on you can select it but let us say if this time we are not sending the good goods to the place of the customer we want to bring it to the business itself and the next one is of course the template the structure or the format of this purchase order this time is a custom purchase order but later on we will talk about how to create your own purchase order you can bring some changes in the format you can bring you can make uh, some more columns or you can make for example some other uh, formats and so on in the format or structure of the purchase order that will be a template for you but this one is the custom or we can say the standard which is set by the QuickBook itself so it is the name of the purchase order itself so the next one is the date which date you want to issue purchase order so you have to select that one and this is PO number purchase order number already I have issued two purchase orders so now this is purchase order number three if you purchase if you issue purchase order in the next time that will be purchase order number four number five number six and so on right this is the vendor address address of the vendor address of the vendor means address of address of sadaf sadaf al kuzay group of uh, sadaf city right so this is for example the address which is selected from the address of sadaf which we have provided at the time of creating this and the next one is ship to right where we should ship it so if we do not provide any ship here so the address of our company will be selected basically this is ABC Cardon Parvonadu Cobalt and this is the zip code right this is the address of our company itself so this is the address or information of the vendor and this is the information of our company itself come down part you have to fill up what you purchase for example, click on the item. What we want to purchase? We want to purchase, for example, battery. Next one, what do you want to purchase? We want to purchase, for example, book. Suppose anything which you purchase, you can select it from here. Suppose we want to purchase, we can say keyboard. We want to purchase, for example, we can say RAM. Anything if you need, you can purchase it simply from here. So this is the description. If you want to give, if you want to give some description provides some description as well so I'm leaving this description it is time consuming for me but if it is a real purchase definitely you have to provide this information the quantity for example how much you want to purchase you have to mention here let us say for example 200 of this one let us say for example 300 of this one and let us say for example 400 of this one you want to purchase right so this is unit of measurement you can mention unit of measurement as well if it is required so some of them have multiple unit of measurement so for that one you have to select for other one which they have only the single unit of measurement here you cannot select anything 
why I why it is not possible to select because only one unit of measurement is there and that is selected as a default if you have multi unit of measurement then you have to mention or select the specific unit of measurement how much is the cost of each so you have to select suppose why how this is selected basically and uh, this was uh, mentioned at the time of creating this items so that is why this cost is selected from there if you want to purchase this one for a particular customer you can select the name of the customers otherwise you can escape it let us say for example we have purchased books for one of our customers by the name of for example Khotra, right and the cost is this much so totally we have purchased four items these are the number of items and these are the cost of each the total amount for this purchase order will be equal to how much 41,500 here you can clear all of this the next week you can save a new if you click on this one so this purchase order will be saved and the blank purchase order will be open in order to create the new one if you click on this one this purchase order will be saved and the new purchase order will be created right so i'm going to click on this one on save and close but one more point is remaining here vendor message if you want to give some message for the vendor let us say for example thank you for your cooperation thank you for your cooperation or something else if you have some message you can mention memo also like this for example if it is a lengthy one so you can mention in this one so this was regarding purchase order select the name of the supplier and select the items give some description how many items of each how many quantity of each item you want to purchase the unit of measurement the cost and so on even you can change the cost no problem here right let us say for example this time price of the items increased from 25 to 30 but you have to update the system as well right now the cost is equal to how much 42,000 you can select you can click on the save and close so let us say click save and close and now how can you find out those purchase orders you can find out those purchase order from the vendor and then click on the vendor center then click on the transactions then click on the purchase order this was purchase order number three if you double click on this one again you can find out your purchase order from here.